week I wanted to do a review of some of the features. As well, I want to introduce you to this little section of the menu here called radio, the radio functions. So at the end of this little intro lesson on how you can use the microbit in a little holiday theme decoration or setup in your classroom, I will show you how you can also create one of these holiday scrolling message boards. This one in particular has happy holidays scrolling across it, but you could have whatever message you like. So that's what we're going to wrap up with today. But to get started, I just want to do a little review of how you could get some messaging images or something that you want to design onto the micro bit and have that display, whether you want to use it within a decoration or a setup or anything like that. If we want to program these buttons on the micro bit to have functions A and B, we're going to grab this block right here menu. I'm going to take a second one and change it over to button B pressed. Now, in the first one, let's say we wanted to have a snowflake pattern on your micro bit. You can actually draw your snowflake using this feature. So it's actually a map of these LED lights on the micro bit. And as you can see, you can click them and create your snowflake pattern. So that image will come up on your micro bit once you load the program when button A is pressed. For button B, let's say that you wanted to have a holiday message. So we're going to go down here to show string, meaning show string of text, and we're going to put it in the block, and for mine, I'm going to make my message Happy Holidays 2020. Get the happy face. There we are. Now, as you're experimenting and seeing what you want to code onto your micro bit, another option to get the third button press option here is to go to input, grab another one of these blocks, and you can change this to A and B together. So when you simultaneously push A and B button, you'll get a third option, A, B, and then A and B together. For that one, I'm going to um, just suppose that I want to add one of the images that is pre-made. So again, we have the show LED section where you can draw an image. We also have the show icon with pre-made images. So let's say for a different function, I want to have a... And yes, we can click duck right here. And that will load a duck onto that button option. Now again, for our challenge this week, if you, we wanted you to be able to experiment with the radio feature on the micro bit. So you're going to go right over here to radio feature. And that's, that's where the radio blocks are that you'll need to build this experiment. So I want to show you where to find that. So again, for the coding that we did for the holiday challenge here, how I got here was makecode.org. Again, we select the micro bit when we get there, and that's back to our window that I was using today, just as a little reminder. But as well, if you go into a browser and you go to brilliantlabs.ca slash holiday micro bit, here is the happy holidays scrolling message. And Melissa with Brilliant Labs has created this easy to follow instruction guide that will take you through every single block you need to build that and have it work properly. Whether micro bits are sending a message to the next one using the radio function and so on. Again, you can switch that over to our French version and stay tuned for that version as well of our holiday challenge. Happy coding and happy holidays.